Last time we took a look at the project demo and everything we are going to be learning in the series. So in this one, I want us to get started with our project. So to get started, you're going to need to have Python installed. So make sure you have the latest version of Python installed and then you're going to be good to go. So if you don't have the latest version, you can come over here and update. So if you don't have Python at all, and you can come here and download Python for your current system. So in this video, we're going to be setting up on a Mac. So moving forward, make sure you have Python installed. Any version of Python 3.6 and up will be good. For Django, we'll be installing the latest version of Django, but that's going to be through pip. So whenever you install Python, you're going to have access to pip, which is a package manager for Python projects. So I'm going to open my terminal here. So I'm going to search for terminal. Let me bring up tab. So here, once you install Python, you're going to have access to commands. So you're going to be able to run Python dash dash version. So when I run that, you see that it has Python 2.7 now. On Mac or Linux, you're going to be having Python 2.7 installed by default. So whenever you install Python 3, you want to check it by writing Python 3 dash dash version. So you can see that I have Python 3.8 installed. So similarly, to check if we have pip, you can do pip 3 dash dash version. And then you see that I have pip 20.1.1 installed. So when we have these, so when we have this, I'm going to cd onto my desktop and then I'm going to create a folder that will host our project files. So I'm going to call this folder to do site. And then when we do that, we are, we are able to, so when we do that, the folder is going to be created. So I'm going to cd into the folder. So cd to do site. So in here, we need to create a virtual environment now. Now in Python, it's always ideal to isolate your project dependencies or project packages into one area. Such that, those, such that those project packages don't have to mess up with other Python projects you might have. Similarly, if you ever wanted to deploy this application, you're going to need to have a, an easier way to correct all the application packages so that you can deploy them with your application. So if we, when we create a virtual environment, that will help to encapsulate all our project dependencies into one area where we can always access the dependencies that are specific to this project. So to create a virtual environment, there are different ways you can do it. So one of them is to use is using the virtual env module. Another one is, is to use the ppnv module. So the ppnv module is like the popular one, but virtual env module also has been around and it basically works. All right, so we need to install it. So to install it, you want to do pip. So here you want to do pip3 install virtual env. So when you run that, it's going to go ahead and install it. Now mine is already installed, so that's why you saw it didn't take a lot of time. Once you install virtual env, now we can create virtual. Now we can use virtual env to create the virtual environment for our project. So we can do virtual env, and then we want to name our virtual environment. So I'm going to name mine venv like this. So when we do that and do an ls, you see that we have venv created here. Now whenever we create a virtual environment we need to activate it. Now to activate this one, we can do source, the name of our virtual environment. Then we can run, we can go into bin and then we want to source in activate. So whenever we run that, you see that our current environment changed and the current environment is vim. So here, if we run Python dash dash version. So remember earlier we had conflicts with, between Python 3 and Python, between Python 3 and Python 2.7. So right now if we run Python version, you see that it is using Python 3.8.5 by default. And that's because we used pip3 to install virtual env and by default virtual env creates a virtual environment using the latest Python available. All right, so now that we have this, we need to install Django. So we already know that we have pip installed and we can use pip to install Python packages. So now let's use pip to install Django. So here we can do pip install and here we don't have to do pip3 because our virtual environment has the latest the P, has pip that is of the latest version so here you can do pip install django like this so something to note here whenever we say pip install django it's going to only be installed in our current virtual environment so whenever you try to access django elsewhere and you didn't install it globally you're not going to be able to install it so now that we have django we can use Django to create a new Django project. 
So Django comes with this tool called Django Admin. So we can do Django dash admin start project. So when you say start project, we need to give our project a name. So I'm going to call ours to do site. And then I want this project to be created in our current directory. So inside to do site, we are already in. So you can put a dot and then click OK. And then if we do an ls, what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and create a to do site folder. And then it's going to give us a manage.py file. So over here, we can use Python to run our local development server that Django ships with. So you can do Python manage.py run server and then click OK. So what that will do is it's going to spin up a local development server. So when we click on, so when you go to, to the browser to this to localhost port 8000, and then you will see that it opens up our project in Chrome. All right. So then here you see that the server is able to basically log out all the requests that are coming to, to the web server itself. And yeah, so right now we have Django installed. Everything is up and running. So in the next video, I'm going to come in and we start exploring more with Django. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later.